Good day, grade tens. Welcome to a second lesson on exponents. In this lesson, we're really just going to be practicing the exponent rules we learned in the last lesson. So let's look at some examples. In this first page, we're going to be just be practicing the product rule. Now, remember the product rule was saying something along the lines of a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. Okay, so let's practice that. Very easy, yeah? We've got x cubed times x to the 6. So what do we do? We just add the indices. So it's 8 x to the 3 plus 6, which is 9. Over here, it's a little bit more complicated because we've got two different bases. So what we can do is we could actually just break this down and we could group the two bases together if you wanted to. Because it's this bracket multiplied with this bracket, it's exactly the same thing as saying x squared times y times x cubed times y to the fourth. So that becomes basically x squared times y times x cubed times y to the fourth, which I could rearrange if I wanted to as x squared times x cubed times y times y to the fourth. And then that'd be x to the 2 plus 3 is 5. And then y to the, remember there's implied 1 there, so it's y to the 5. But grade 11s, you really don't need to do this, okay, all of this. You could have gone straight to that. If you just looked at this carefully and gone, oh, well, look, this is the x squared and this is the x cubed. They are being multiplied together, and therefore it is just going to be x to the 2 plus 3, which is 5. And then we've got a y to the 1 multiplied by the y to the 4. And when we are multiplying... We add the, the exponents, that becomes y to the 5. But if it, you find it quite difficult to do initially, especially if there's lots of different bases, then rather break it up like this and then do that. It's more important for you to get this right than to do it quickly and get it all wrong. Let's now look at the quotient rule. So the quotient rule said basically that a to the m over a to the n is equal to a to the m minus minus n. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So all that we're doing here is we're subtracting our exponents. So this becomes x to the 5 minus 3, which is just x squared, right? Let's try this one here. And again, you could break it up, but I am now, because I'm feeling that you should be getting more confident with this, we're just going to look for common bases. So do you see you've got x squared there and x here? So that's going to be x squared minus, and what is implied exponent here? It is 1. So it's minus 1 times by y to the 5 minus 3. That becomes x to the 2 minus 1 is 1, so it's implied 1, times y to the 5 minus 3 is 2. And then obviously you don't write the 1 there, so it just becomes xy squared. Right, let's look at the power rule. So the power rule says that basically everything within the bracket is to the power of whatever's outside the bracket. In other words, a times b to the m is equal to a to the m, b to the m. That's the power rule. So let's now put this into practice. So the first thing that we can do is we can say, okay, fine. This is 2 cubed times by a squared cubed. And I really suggest that until you get to really get to grips with this, that you do it like this slowly, simply so that you don't mess up when these happen when there's a squared or a cubed and then you still have to cube it again. So 2 cubed is 8 and then a to the power, a squared to the power of 3, remember what are we doing? We're just multiplying across the bracket. So what does that become? It becomes a to the 6. Okay, now let's look at this example. Do you see now we've got a division? This is a different version of the power rule. This version of the power rule says that a to the m over b to the m is all equal to a over b to the power of m. And we're going to be using that over here. So let's have a look at this. So if we look, we can see, okay, we are going to break it up. We're going to go 2x all to the power of 3, all over 3y squared all to the power of 3. And now we're going to handle both the numerator and the denominator exactly like we did here. So this becomes 2 cubed over x cubed all over 3 cubed times y squared cubed. 2 cubed is 8, x cubed 
all over 3 cubed is, 3 cubed is 27, so 27y to the 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, now let's look at this one. Now, first of all, before we have a panic attack and look at this, I would actually look at counting things to make it a little bit easier. So, if I did that, do you see that 4 goes into 20 and 4 goes into 25 times? So, I would cancel that and you'd end up with a 5 at the bottom. So, here's your 5. Then, if you look, you've got x to 5 here and x to 4. Now, admittedly, I've taught you that x to 5, if you want to sort that out, it becomes x to 5 minus 1, which is x to 4. Which, how did we get that? We actually got that by going x to the 5 over x, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all over x, and we cancel. So that's what I'm really doing. I'm going to cancel that with one of those and leave a 4 there. So I'm left with x to the 4. And similarly, I'm just going to do it upside down now. We've got y at the top, but we've got y to the 5 at the bottom. So I'm going to cancel that y with this one and leave it with four y's at the bottom, four to the y. And now that's all to the power of three. And do you see that is much easier than trying to multiply it all out and then do it to the power of three. You can still do that, that's really not a problem. But it's just quicker and easier if we look to factorize first, first, if we simplify it first. So now we've got x to the four to the power of three, which becomes x to the 12. And then remember this is applied to the bottom bit as well, because the factorial there. So therefore, 5 cubed, 5 cubed is 125, and this becomes y to the 4 to the 3, and remember, what do we do? We times across the brackets, so 4 times 3 is 12, so that is y to the 12, and that's the final answer. So grade 11s, what I want you to do is go practice, 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 and then do the assessments at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.